All right, here's some feedback for the Logos project for um, my, my afternoon class. Uh, these Logos don't look like they're, they're ready. Uh, they, they need some work. There's a good concept here, really like that, uh, the way that this shape especially is working in there. I like it here especially that it's been minimized and, and you, don't, you, you uh, got rid of a lot of the tangent problems by taking that out and I still see that this is a clock. There is another tangent here where that O overlaps. Uh, you could put shape behind these words in those places so that you don't get the crossing lines. Um, but really your, your ideas need to be more developed and I'd like to see a title on here that, that's small and the logos need to be the things that, that stand out. They don't need to be huge but they, they do need to stand out. They should be lined up here too, kind of centered on the page. These are a lot more developed. There is uh, there's some nice nice concept here with the wave uh, carving. That sounds like a surfing term, uh, and and you definitely have a surf feel. So that's great, great start. If you can avoid outlining things, outlining shapes, outlining text, can you can you do this without that thin black outline? You know, if it's thicker, that's that's better, but. Here, where you don't have much contrast between the black and the blue, that's not going to work as well. Also, this see how this shape is kind of chopped off there? Um, that, that needs to be worked a little bit. But good concept. You do need a title up here. Keep it small. And you can make these smaller as well. Uh, not a whole lot smaller, but they should be about two inches. Two or three inches, you know, height and width. All right, so these feel like pictures. They don't feel like logos yet. Um, the proximity here keeps these unrelated. The readability is not very good, especially for family restaurant. There's a lot going on. Uh, the concepts are good. I really like the concepts, especially the second two. This seems too generic, but I like this. Uh, you do... you can justify the round though because it's a round table so I, I understand that. I'll keep pushing these ideas. These faces are, I like that they're simple but they're bordering on the simplistic. So uh, watch that. Avoid this the thick thin black stroke. Really like these logos. Uh, these are actually from my other class. I just brought them in because I wanted to show you that this is the first project I opened up today and I liked them. I liked uh, a lot of attention to shape and detail but there's too much detail here. Too much going on. It needs to be simplified. The, the, the feel is right. It feels like a disc jockey kind of a thing but there's tangents. Wherever shapes and, and text overlap and cross and points get too close, the star pointing to that R right there creates some tension. So I opened this up in Illustrator and did some work on it just to simplify. Now I, I didn't do this because I want the student to, to replicate or uh, I don't want them to, you know, whatever, think this is the way, they, the way that I want their logos to be. But I just wanted to show a contrast between kind of what, this is kind of what I'm hoping for. Simple, clean, readable, communicative. Uh, and notice the title here. I kept it really minimal, small. This is about the size I want the logos to be. Okay, hold on. All right. Um, this is a nice start. It looks like these are pixelated. So since we're using Illustrator, there shouldn't be any pixels. Everything should be crisp and clean. Uh, good start here. It's hard. I don't know what what is the personality of your events organization because these all three have different personalities so really think about what that personality is think about the spacing here um, center lining your text weakens it no contrast find something to, to pop out um, and probably the leaves shouldn't be the thing that pops there should probably the R and the S should should pop uh, this is a good start. I think this one's probably the strongest. This shape is nice here. Uh, the color schemes look like they're 
kind of tripping you up and making you making this awkward your typography could use some refining and and incorporating into the rest of the logo make sure you keep this title small um, keep your title small get rid of that black drop shadow uh, the the contrast between the black and this dark red is not enough for those lines to make any difference. If you back out about 10 feet, you won't even see that those, those small lines. I'd say get, get rid of those lines, clarify these shapes where points um, are right next to each other and tiny shapes are created, you've got tangents. So get rid of those. Work your text in, help it be, it needs, it's gotta be more iconic, it's gotta be more part of the logo. Um, Great start. I have talked with you about this logo. I really like the concept here on this bottom one. This is a strong concept too, but I don't think the shapes are quite as strong. And the contrast in your text isn't quite as, as strong. Love this contrast with the word the in pie shop. Um, and the font feels right for a pie shop. There is some tangent there where things are getting too close. Uh, these are on, on the simplistic side. I like that they're simple, but they're too, they're not too simple. They're too sim simplistic. Uh, this isn't what notes look like. Um, they, they just feel, they're not, they don't feel finished or professional. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to go for a more professional look here. Uh, these are nice and clean. There's some great contrast uh, in size and weight. On the font don't let this be so heavy you know really minimize that um, not sure what else to say is there something you can do to make these unique so that it's not just circles and lines you know turning the letter sideways that's a great idea um, this uh, modern font doesn't work very well when it's that small okay these are nice uh, it's, it, they feel like they're, they're logo-ish. Um, I really like this curve. That, that helps break up all the straights and helps repeat this um, P. It feels like it's too out there, though. That, can you bring this in somehow and, and pull it together? Um, and there's a little bit of contrast here with the big P and the, the little Enix. <clears throat> Wonder about more contrast and also not trapping that that word. Is there a way that it could have more space? Um, these don't feel quite finished yet. They need they just need some some work. And when I say work, I, I guess I mean move things around, change the sizes, try some things different, some brainstorming here. Uh, this is a cool idea. You know, I didn't at first. I didn't see what you were doing with this, but yeah, I see the, I see the camera now. Um, the L T T L. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a pretty strong concept, but it it does need some refining and and uh, and there's got to be some contrast. Everything feels kind of light and airy. Give me something heavy, uh, something bold. Um, there's some great contrast in your typography here. Um, these need to be placed differently on this page. Uh, and you can just watch the other, the earlier videos, to parts of the video to see that. Um, this feels the most crown-like. This doesn't feel right, and this doesn't feel quite right. Uh, there's some mild contrast in here. This contrast in the text is stronger. Your colors are going to be really important. And right now, I'm not sure that they're working. But you've got a really good start. Uh, your typography is, is really nice. Um, so keep, keep working that. It's really close to being very logo-ish. Watch tangents here where things come too close to other things. I like that they're, they're united. This is good. This is good spacing. There's a little too close. There's a little too close there. Avoid brushes.
please. They're 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 overdone. They're overused. Um, looks like you. Wow, you have one, two, three, four different ideas. Great. I, I love that you did so much, so much work. Uh, I love this idea. You've kind of got the yin yang symbol, but using shrimp. Um, really like that. Now just get your typography to work with you. Um, same thing here. Nice. I love that. Uh, you've kind of got the yin yang, but it's also an S for sushi. Cool. Yeah. It's just this text now that needs to, to be more iconic and, and more incorporated, more unified. Um, these feel more like drawings than logos right now. That there's a lot going on, a lot of tangents, a lot of overlap, and and a lot of sim simplisticness. Um, keep it simple, but but give me something that looks professional, that looks that has contrast, that has white space, that doesn't have tangents. Some good start here. I love that you incorporated this and made a letter. Watch that little shape right there. Uh, doesn't look finished. The bottom of this mug shouldn't be flat because uh, the top of it's not flat. So if you see that that in perspective, it would be different. Although maybe you cut the bottom off. Um, okay. Just think about that shape. And then this text doesn't. It, it feels like an afterthought. Um, this doesn't seem unique. Use the same shape here. Notice that the, the bottom again, uh, the text doesn't feel like it's really part of this icon. Uh, some good ideas here, really. Uh, keep pushing on them. And that's it.